In the previous lesson, we defined the start URLs, that is the URL our spider should send a request to. Now, the first step is done, that is we have sent a request. The next step is getting the response back as well. So what Scrapey does is it just visits this website, that is it sends a request to this URL. And then when it gets the response back, it calls a method of our spider and that method is called parse in which the response object is provided. So what we can do is define a function called parse. Make sure you spell it correctly. That is parse. And then we can receive the response inside of it as a argument. So we receive the self because it is a method. So it should receive the current object. And then we will receive the response, which will be provided by Scrapy. So using this response object, we can just select any data from the website. So for now, what we can do is just go ahead and print this response object. So I can just print our response object, which we get. And then to differentiate it, that is, there will be a lot of output. So just before this response, we'll print a line like this that is our response our response like this so that we know we have our response down this and then what we can do is just run our spider again let's see what we do here that is we have our ebook spider which is named as ebook just simple as that and then we have defined the start URLs, which the spider should send a request to. That is the first step of web scraping. Then we have defined a method called parse in which we receive the response. And this method is called when Scrapey receives the response from this URL. That is the request is sent. Then the server sends back the response, which is provided inside of this method. Inside of this method, we can do whatever we want with the response, that is select the data we want, obviously. But here, for now, we will just print out the response we get here. So we just print our response and the response object, which we get. So let's go ahead and run our spider. I will pull up our terminal and make sure that you are inside of the virtual environment because we will use our scrapey which installed inside of the same and then i need to go inside of our ebook scraper which is our project scrapey project so i will just cd into the same that is change the current directory to ebook scraper like this and then i can run our ebook spider that is crawl it using the scrapey space crawl command and then to this crawl command, we can provide the name of our spider, which is ebook right here. So we can provide ebook like this. So what this command will do is crawl our ebook spider as simple as that. If I hit enter, you can see we'll get a lot of output. So let's see what output do we get here. Starting at the top, that is, we have our command that is right here, scrapey crawl ebook. And then we have a lot of information and this is necessary to see what our scraper is doing behind the scenes. That is, it is using this version, which is fine. Then the versions of the packages being used and the overridden settings, like all of the server settings. So if something goes wrong, we can track down the error using this logs. So for now, it may be a bit intimidating, but it's fine. Just pay no heed for now. We have the server related information, we have the extensions, we have the middlewares, then we have the pipelines, which is currently nothing because we have not used any. And then we have the spider is open. So finally, we get to our spider, which is opened. And then this is the info that is this much crawled, that is zero pages crawled because we have not crawled anything. We have just seen the response. And then you can see again the server information that is this telnet console. And then you can see we send a request to this website that is books to scrape.com robots.txt. Now this is necessary in uh, web scraping. That is we just visit a website. That's why we also visit its robots.txt which is enabled in the settings. 
Of course, for now, you don't need to know what it is because it is just a thing which is a convention in scraping. But if you don't want, we can further customize it as well. But for now, what we want is this. That is, we crawled a web page. That is this. That is books to scrape.com. Now you will see that we have some numbers before our URLs as well. And this is called the status code of our request. That is, if we send a request, it may fail. If we send a request, we may get redirected. Or if we send a request, we can just get a normal response back. And that is the case with 200 status code. That is, we send a request and we get a response normally. And that is right here. You can see we print our response, which we printed right here that is you can see we print our response which is right here and then we print the response object which is this that is the 200 status code and the url the request is sent to so this is how we receive the response inside of our spider